Welcome back to another review from Kit Guru Tech. I'm Schnitz, and today I'm going to be taking you through the uh, Toby Eye Tracker. So I'll do a slight unboxing, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll take you through the use of it and what it can do, and my initial thoughts on it. There's also a feature in here where I'll show you where I went to Insomnia I60 and spoke to a representative there. This is how I actually got my hands on this. Um, she'll take you through uh, specs and so on. So uh, on to the unboxing. Hey, I have this snazzy little device. How good does this look? What, wait, oh, unbox it. Okay, then if I have to. So there's the cardboard outing and ugh, put that to one side. It's the uh, Toby Eye Tracking Toby Eye Tracker, which is the 4C edition. So obviously this slides out like this. There's the outer and this is the little uh, break. So it's got a little sticky seal there that says void. Oh dear. Have I broken something? Nope, there we go. So it comes in uh, a little foamy packaging, as you can see here, and uh, this is the Toby eye tracker itself. So the foam padding uh, hosts the eye tracker itself with uh, a one meter standard USB cable. So I believe that's the only connection you have for it. Uh, looking at it itself, um, it does have two white lines here, which I know are to uh, sync up on the screen of your monitor. So uh, when you're setting up using the software that they provide, it gives you two little lines at the bottom of the screen which you match up so it can uh, centralize itself. Uh, the rear of this is magnetic and there is magnetic strips inside. They look like this. They can attach to different devices. You have the ability of attaching them to two different devices. So if you have a laptop and a uh, desktop monitor, sorted. Um, so there you go for there. There's a simple instruction manual inside also and the rest just requires you to download uh, the uh, Toby app at toby.com forward slash get started. So uh, let's get started and move on to that. Now over to setting up and installing the device. So like I say, it's as simple as plugging in a USB 2, adding a magnetic strip to the bottom of your monitor or laptop, and then hooking it all up. Um, the setup process actually takes you through um, a tutorial where these lines here become more clear as to what their use is because you have to centralize them at a certain point of the screen. So um, I won't go through that now, but um, basically you just add the Toby eye tracker device to the bottom of the monitor, find a USB 2 port that's available, I have one on my keyboard luckily, and plug it in. Obviously you can see the software at the right hand side doing its job and you can set up profiles. So where I'm looking on this now, it's actually going to move for me, so you can follow my finger to where I'm looking. So if I come on here, I follow my finger down, 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 there we go. So gauge trace, so you should be able to click on gauge trace, there we go. So I'll sit here so you can see, and you should be able to see the gauge trace on the screen. There we go, top left, bottom left, bottom right, top right, whether or not you can see that or not. So obviously that little ball on the screen there is everywhere I'm looking now. Um, hi, you are about to experience Toby eye tracking in gaming. There we go, so you can see I'm reading that. The autopilot is on, activating infinite screen. So it has head and eye control. So I should be able to tilt my head and my eyes and move little bits and bobs, so on. But basically the aim of this is to destroy the asteroids before you crash into them. So obviously everywhere I look now, it's going to shoot. In my opinion, it's out by about, about 2 mil, within 2 millimeters. But when you're playing on games, so on and so forth, it's not really that much of a difference. Um, it's not meant to replace a mouse, say for instance. It's meant to be mouse assist. So say you're on Tomb Raider or something like that, and obviously in different games you have both body and head control movements. Um, this can control head movements more than body, but as you can see there's a lot of asteroids here I'm trying to kill through. Um, I do find it difficult to maintain my gaze, which is a key factor to playing this. Um, but there we go, so no asteroids hit us, and we did a good job! There we go, but that's pretty much all the ones available. All I did there was look and press the spacebar. Press and exit to leave. So you go all the way to the right, turn your head, look down, and press spacebar to exit. And there we go. So that's the simple setup, and that's the simple uh, introduction to uh, what it offers. Moving on. My opinions are, obviously it's not there to replace the mouse, but mouse assist is fantastic. 
Um, the possibilities for people with some sort of disability which doesn't allow them to uh, play games with the, the correct movements of the hands, it could progress into something like that. Um, it's a slight step into VR. Um, it's nothing to do with the Vive or the Oculus or anything like that, but it's an option. Like I say, it's an option to step into the VR sort of style world. You don't get the full immersion, but you get part immersion. Uh, you can have an infinite display and you can just use your eyes to do things like that. Um, On to normal gamers, um, like I did say Tomb Raider with Lara Croft. Um, when shooting, um, it does use eye assist, so if I wanted to look in a direction, I could still use the mouse to move the body and I could still use the keyboard to move my feet. But if I wanted to move the gaze, so it locks onto like an eagle or locks onto an antelope or a wolf or so on, I could just lock my gaze on, click, and it snaps to it. It's fantastic. Um, it does make that process a hell of a lot easier. Uh, for the price point, 150 euros around about. Um, it's not too bad. Like I say, if you want an introduction to VR, there's other options out there. But um, this is just more of a... A new thing. You can also be using office tasks and so on, but obviously the game, gaming market is what they want to try and introduce it into. Uh, the, the fact that it links with just the standard USB cable and it can be moved, the peripheral can, um, is amazing. Uh, they do offer this within certain Dell laptops, Dell Alienware laptops, where it's integrated into the laptop itself, but obviously you'll pay the premium for that. Uh, I think the, the peripheral is a pretty good idea. I'd probably see it more of a, a birthday gift or something on their minds. Like I say, people with disabilities, say people don't have full control to their right or left hand and they don't want to use the mouse or can't use the mouse, this does offer an option to not use them. Um, with everything else, we'll just go through the clip now where I was at Insomnia and I was talking to a representative and they'll take you through the CPU usage and so on. So um, let's go. So Christine, explain to me what we've got here on the bottom of the screen. Yes, we have a Toby eye tracker in the Alienware 17 laptop. Yep. So it catches your eyes with the help of infrared lights yep. to tell where you're looking. It has about a, the eye tracker has an eye chip um, in it, so it has about one percent CPU load, so it's pretty light. We have a peripheral as well. We have we have it in about 50 games. So we have it in, for example, Elite Dangerous. It's a really popular one. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, um, and we have it in Ghost Recon Wildlands, um, Dying Light, Tomb Raider. And more games coming too. Oh, Tomb Raider would give me panic attacks. Yeah. She falls off everything. I feel like I'm falling <laughs> with it. On to the next bit. If I was to buy one, um, I wouldn't say it'd stretch my um, enthusiasm or stretch my attention span for very long unless they keep coming out with new updates. Um, there is quite a few games they got under the belt, so game assist, so on. Um, but I can't see this being something I'd be overly excited to use on a daily day-to-day -day basis, more when I have friends around or I wanted to show it off, so on. Um, that's just my opinion. If it's something that you can use creatively or you can use because you have a disability or you can find any use of it on a daily basis, then fantastic. It's the thing for you. For me personally, I can't see myself using it in that way to its max potential. Um, but on that note, uh, I've been Schnitz, this is Kit Guru Tech. Um, if you like what me and Leo do, then please like and subscribe. Um, there should be a description below with a link in that uh, goes direct to our website. Uh, please go over to there and take a look if any pictures you want to see or any more information I may have missed out on this uh, review. But otherwise, like I say, I've been Schnitz. I'll see you later. Love you. Goodbye.